Hello and welcome to my new channel, um, the Retrobyte. And for my first video today, <coughs> I thought I would do something well that everybody else has done. Yeah, making it original. Yeah, um, an unboxing video, as if YouTube hasn't got enough of them. Um, let's do an unboxing video. Let's see what we've got in here. I think actually what is in here. Um, it is pretty special if it is what I believe it to be. Um, let's have a drink of my coffee. So, let's have a look. How can we get in here? Uh, let's start. Okay, let's start here. Let's start here. It's really well taped on actually. I've got my knife. Just to. Things along. Don't want to cut too deep that knife because you never know what you might be cutting inside. There we go. Okay, interesting choice of wrapping paper. Doesn't tell us anything so far. Okay, that's good. Let's do the other side. Something so good about opening a parcel. You don't know what's inside. Okay, well, like I said, interesting use of wrapping paper. <laughs> Where is it? So if we put the knife away. Ha ha! Oh wow. Now that takes me back. What's going on with this wrapping paper? What is this? Russell's International Circus. Even the camera, okay. But now, so either the guy worked in a circus or he worked in a printer's or he were a thief. One of them, let's get rid of that, that's intriguing. But this is the, this is the, uh, this is the, the first prize. Wow, okay, well. Yeah, the reason I got this is because I had one of these as a child. In fact, I didn't have one of these as a child. Um, I'm always aware of it being in the house when I was little, but it wasn't mine. It was it was bought prior to me. I think it was belonged to one of my my, my sisters. So when an opportunity came up to uh, to get one, I thought, yeah, let's have a look. Benetton TV Master Mark IV um, Model 014974 TV game 74, so that's about right with the year isn't it? 74, I think uh, Licensed by Magnavox So yep, yeah, if you were in the UK and you wanted like a generation 1 video game this is what you would get uh, obviously, in the United States, you would have some sort of Magnavox. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what it's saying first. The most, <laughs> the most exciting, fascinating home video game ever. Quite a statement. Uh, plays on any size, any brand, any colour, or black and white TV. Where you use the word colour there because you could think it's actually a colour product and it's not. Uh, what's this? What's that up there? So you've got tennis, football, squash, and practice. It plugs into your own TV sets and gives you a choice of four exciting games made in Hong Kong. Just to let you know, Benetton are still going today. They are a, still a, a company. Um, they don't make 
consoles or anything like that. They're more into making electronic devices. Um, I, I can't even say making. I think they just import them and have their own brand put on them. Uh, there we go. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Well, that's everything out the box. Put that to the side. Haha! <laughs> it's got the guarantee. Uh, TV Master Mark 4. L Parker and Co. They must they must have done the warranty for it. Fill this part in and set a mail to J Parker and Co. London. Ah, that is so cool. That is unbelievable. There's a place there to put your put your stamp if you can see that there. Look at that. I would love to send it off. I mean, if the, if the office is still there, where it goes to, on Beresford Avenue, Wembley, H801YX. Oh, wow, wow, I can't see that without my glasses. Going blind. Yeah, imagine if you sent that off. Put a stamp on it, send it off. It's either going to go to a building that's not there anymore. Or a building where some other company occupies it. Oh, maybe Binitone still have an office there. And some person who's been working the mail office for 30 or 40 years would get a laugh. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we should send that off. Maybe we should. Maybe, what do you think? Or at least photocopy it and send it off. Anyway, anyway, put it to one side. What else we got here? Oh. Instruction book. Oh my god, there's so, so much here. Technical data. Anyway, this is the main prize. Oh my god, what's that? This is the box is amazing. It's coming. Let's put that to one side there. Oh wow. Well, I mean, they did say it was a, a loft find. Um. And it is working, apart from not having a power supply. Um, but luckily, uh, it takes batteries. It goes in there. Yep, that we'll have to get. But this is the big daddy. Look at this. I remember this so so much. Um, just because of the colour, and the colour is amazing. It's so so of the period. Orange. I mean, everything in the seventies was orange. I mean, I mean, I don't know if anyone remember the uh, in in the UK we had a car called the Bond Bug, <laughs> a three wheel car. It was it was this colour. Um, I think a lot of kitchens were this colour as well. Uh, so what we got here? We got power on and off. It clunk. Yeah, it works. That sound. No volume. I don't know because the sound comes through here, there's no external sound. Speed, angle, bat size, large and small, and serve. I remember these buttons. Oh, so tactile, so brilliant. Uh, from what I understand as well, I mean, obviously, you slide this to different positions to play different games. Mm -hmm. So, uh, squash. At the bottom, oh, squash, pra squash pr practice at the bottom, squash, football and tennis. But from what I understand, someone said once, if you put it like in between, it confuses the logic board and one of you gets an extra bat. Um, which we might have to try one day. Um, obviously, I don't, there's no actual... CPU in it as such, it's, it's just all logic and I think that just confused the logic and it sticks an extra button. Uh, so that would go in there, like that. And the other one would go in there. 
and yeah, you control your your bat. Simple as that. Look at this. Look at the quality of it. It's still in. I would say that's in really good condition. That is absolutely fantastic. Let me just move this out of the way because the dogs. I'm back. Um, and what's this? I think this would have been. I think that would just sort of maybe hang from it in the store or something. I don't know. Bit weird. And now, hold on. Oh, cover that up. Oh my god. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's the original receipt by Rumblers, which was a, a company in the UK. Now, is that the head office or is that the branch? Probably the head office. 21st, get this, 21st of January 1978. I mean, four. <laughs> Type of sale, cash. A Binaton TV game. Branch code, whatever that means. Stock code. Price fourteen ninety five. Uh, that works out at about eighty pound, I think. About eighty pound these days. So a considered purchase. It's still got the signature of the salesperson who signed for it. God, I mean, it's not even a, it's not even a till receipt. It's a hand receipt. That's how old this is. Ah, uh, dear me. That is unbelievable. I mean, like I said, I knew it was a, a loft find, um, but I wasn't expecting anything. I certainly wasn't expecting things like instruction manuals and stuff. That is unbelievable. And like I said, there is a, um, a story behind this um, because I, I had one of these. Um, this is a machine that I had, oh, I grew up with, and I sort of inherited it. So, that's the unboxing video for today. Um, I'm really impressed. I can't believe it. It's my first video. So, um, yeah. What do you think, guys? Did you have um, a console from Generation 1? Have you played one of these before? Let us know. Let us know what you think. I'm going to have to tidy it up a little bit, clean it up. But we'll have to get this running. And... Um, I'll tell the story of it, or my personal story. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to bring you some more videos soon. And yeah, enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Bye bye. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of the Retro Bite. If you did, please remember to click like. And if you want to see future episodes, remember to subscribe and hit the notifications button. And if you'd like to support the channel, then please take a look at my Patreon page at www.patreon.com forward slash The Retro Byte to become an official supporter. You can also find The Retro Byte on social media, so why not drop by and take a look. As always, thank you for watching.